Robin, and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you all about enchanting. Enchanting is how to improve weapons and tools to make them stronger and do better things. So the first one is protection. This is used to enchant armor. So say let's get in chest plate. Uh, let's go with iron. And something that we also need to combine books uh, enchanted books with tools is an anvil. If you want to do it straight, then you need an enchanting table. Just place it on the ground, put the thing you want in, and in survival you need to put lapis lazuli in. But th then choose what the thing you want, and then it's enchanted with it. So let's get rid of that and get a new one. Uh, oh yeah, here. So, let's put an anvil here. Protection. Protection provides extra defense against everything except falling damage and uh, fire damage and the void. Then, we have fire protection. It's just like protection except it protects against fire. So let's get another one. Uh, I think I'm going to need a lot of these. So so let's get some more armor. Um, fire protection. Oh, there. So, yeah. Protects against fire. Then let's do... Um, oh. For feather falling, you need boots. So, get some boots. Feather, feather falling protects against falling damage. So, in survival... We actually... I need to build a tower so that I can jump off and show you. Um, this on. So this would be a, about seven blocks high. So it should do four damage. Only does three. Very useful with extra levels. The thing about enchantments is that they can go higher than one, except for a few. So then let's go to, um, oh, and uh, some things like uh, aqua affinity and feather falling have to be on certain things. Aqua affinity has to be on helmets, so yeah. And for this, you also need tools. So. Ready. So let's put it on. Now when you go underwater, mining won't be as slow. Very useful for going underground. So next let's do projectile protection. It protects much better than protection against, like, arrows and fireballs. I'm not going to test it out, but still you get the idea. So, let's get another helmet. Respiration helps protect against drowning. What it does is, when you're wearing it, it gives you... It takes longer for each of the bubbles to run out. So, see, it takes much longer. So, if you had respiration three, then it would be extremely useful. Next, we have thorns. This is very good for fighting other players in mobs because every time you get hit, it has a chance to deal damage to the thing that hit you. Next, 
Depth Strider. This is also a boot enchantment. Let's get some more water. Does, wait, I need to put it on. Doesn't slow you down as much. Next we have fire. Oh, we already did that. Blast protection. Basically, it helps a lot against explosions. Frostwalker is another boot enchantment. But it's a very rare one. As it does something very special. So, let's take these off. When you go near water, it turns into ice. Then a few minutes later, the ice freezes. The ice melts. Very useful for walking across oceans. Next we have sword enchantments. So let's get a bunch of swords. So, sharpness. It does extra damage against every kind of creature. So, say let's get a sharpness 5. Okay. Make sure to put the thing you want to enchant first. See, it was 6 before, and now it does 9 damage. Next, we have Smite. This is exactly like Sharpness, except it does better damage against undead mobs like zombies and skeletons. Next, Bane of the Anthropods. This is the same thing as Smite, except it goes with spiders. Then, we have Knockback. This is useful if you have very low health and you don't want to risk having mobs hit you. So, let's just get a, how about a, a pig to show you. So, goes much farther. Let's get another knockback. Knock back two. Oh. Well, you get the idea. Goes really far. So, next time I'll do even more enchantments. The reason I don't want to do it this time is because it, t it will take way too long. There are tons of enchantments. If you don't believe me, um,. There's that many. So hopefully I'll be able to do it in the next video. Goodbye!